So let's look at capital expenditure. Now, capital expenditure, or CapEx, is distinguished from operating expenditure as it has a multi-year benefit. For that reason, this leads to the creation of fixed assets on your balance sheet, which are written down via depreciation on the income statement. Now, when we forecast CapEx within your financial model, this is handled on the assets sheet. Now, within this analysis, we only look at your forecast capital expenditure. This is because your historical CapEx derivation is handled within your fixed assets analysis. Your capital expenditure analysis is used solely to forecast your CapEx so that your CapEx can be analyzed separately to how you forecast your fixed assets. As you can see in this example, we have our three categories of capital expenditure, those categories being for land, buildings, and machinery and equipment capital expenditure, and they all have their own unique drivers currently set to amounts. Now, capital expenditure is unique in that it has no direct financial statement impacts within a three-way financial model. Our capital expenditure passes through our fixed assets analysis and then impacts our financial statements, but there are no direct impacts coming from this capital expenditure analysis that we're looking at on screen. Looking at December 22 as an example, we can see that we're forecasting 10.0 of capital expenditure for land, and this forecast is flowing into our fixed assets analysis down below. Your fixed assets analysis handles the allocation of your capital expenditure forecasts into your fixed asset categories, which we'll explore within the fixed assets video. So for our capital expenditure video, it's important to know that capital expenditure has no direct impacts on the financial statements, and our capital expenditure forecast passed through our fixed assets analysis and then impact our financial statements.